All right, you guys, here is another stabilizing exercise. This, uh, this is positively balanced. All right, you guys, here is another stabilizing shoulder exercise from Positively Balanced. It's seen it in the weightlifting world. Maybe I do it a little bit differently than most. Um, but what we're going to be doing is we're going to be, again, working that mid-back, kind of helping those shoulder blades secure back and down. Now, I use really light weights for this, A, because I upper body strength is not really my forte as far as I was a runner, I was a soccer player, so, you know, up here just is not as built up as a lot of people. But especially for those who are hypermobile, hypoflexible, you know, we kind of need to back off on the weight, especially at the beginning, just so that we can give those muscles, you know, a chance to start forming and start building. So go ahead and, you know, swallow your pride, grab like a five pounder or something of that nature and let's get started. So first of all, you can have two or just one. I'm gonna show you just with one, that way you can see what I mean by stabilizing one side from the other. Now with this one, there's several different ways to do it. I'll show you the way that my body enjoys most and that doesn't really hurt or anything of that nature. So I'm gonna to turn to the side here. Same thing as we've been doing hinging at the waist, and I'll probably make a video over this soon about hinging, but you're going to send your hips back, abs tight, soft bend in your knees. Again, right here, you're not going to get what I want you to get. So kind of take it down here because we're going to use gravity. Ribs down, spine long, elbow in tight. Now what you're going to do is abs tight, shoulder blades pull together so you already feel that contraction. And then see how my arm's kind of at a 90 degrees? We're going to keep it like that. Because whenever you start to extend it out, it's a further load. And especially whenever you're starting out, there's no need. So bring that elbow in. Spine tall. Come out to the side. Down. Out to the side. Down. Now you'll notice I could probably tip over even more. I'm looking at myself and seeing what I need to fix, right? So shoulder blades back and down. Out. In. Out. In. Now. You'll notice that my shoulder, I'm going to do this without a weight so that I don't hurt myself. Um, whenever you're doing this and you send your hips back, you'll notice that I'm not doing this really because we want to get the muscles right here in the back, right on the inside of your shoulder blade. So my abs are tight and there's another way that you, you can think of it is squeezing back and down. Another way is to have your hands down and squeeze up, but the, you know we've kind of done that with the row. But if you do this and you pull back, elbows back, shoulder blades back and down, you should start to feel it right through this guy right there. All right, so enjoy. This is just another variation for you to incorporate. Do both sides. I usually do like 10 to 15, three sets. But uh, it's really, really good for getting those nice mid-back muscles. We're thinking mid-trap, lower trap. We're thinking of rhomboids, things of that nature. All right, enjoy, you guys.